Hey guys, it's Josie from Queen My Pawn. I want to talk about the differences between associative and commutative properties today in math. When I first heard about associative and commutative properties, I had no idea what they meant. But if you can just give a meaning for the word, not math related, it'll all make sense. So let's start with associative. Okay, associate, associated. It means that this person is associated with the other person. In other words, they form a group. So if we have two numbers like this one, one plus two, and we group them together, we associate them with each other. If we do one plus two plus three, we can associate either one and two, or we can associate two and three. Oops, like that. And the associative property of mass says that no matter how you associate the groups, it'll still give you the same result in the end. And so that's the associative property of, of addition. So you can basically use that properties to solve problems. For example, if we have five, plus six minus one, um, or actually five plus, let me do another example, like uh, five plus three minus two, okay? Um, you can associate the groups like this or like that now here's a difference if you have five minus three minus two uh subtraction is in associative in other words um if you associate the groups like this they do not equal the same thing as this so Subtraction is not associative, but we know that addition is. Commutative means that you have a commute. So if you have A plus B, you can switch them around and you get B plus A. What this really means is that if A goes to B, it would be the same thing as if B went to A. Now, um, we know that in life, you can go to school and then you go back home. So going from home to school isn't the same thing as going from school to home. So transportation isn't always commutative. But addition could be. If you have five plus three, you can switch them around. And so you'll end up in the same place every time. It's eight. In other words, if you have a problem like this, PEMDAS would give you just 16 plus Y plus three, but here's the problem. You can't add the Y, but what you can do is you can apply the commutative property of addition. Commutative means you can switch them around so that you get 16 plus three plus Y. And that was commutative property. You can also say that you can group this one first. That would be associative. But really what's going on here is you're just switching what's inside that group like this. And so what really going is going on here is commutative property. Now, this is when you use associative. You switch the group. So you have 16 plus three plus Y. And now the groups are switched, so you get 19 plus Y. 
Now over here in the green, that's where I use associative property. I use the associative property to switch the groups around. You'll notice a pattern. When you're applying the commutative property, things switch places. So if you have something like three plus y plus five, I need to switch the places of the five and the y. So I get three plus five plus y. Notice commutative means switching. Commute, you switch from one place to another, just like I showed. And now associative means you group them. You know that you're using associative if nothing is switching places, but you're using parentheses. So you get a plus y. A plus y is the answer in the end. And uh, that's really what's going on. So to put it all in perspective, commutative, you need to switch the numbers and the letters around to different places. And associated means you just switch the parentheses. Uh, you can put one group and move that parentheses somewhere else. So don't get it confused that associative, even though you're switching the parentheses around, if the numbers and the letters stay in the same place, then all that's going on there is associative. But if the numbers and letters switch places, like I switched them around, that's commutative. That's it.